Hi, welcome to Embedded C channel. In this video, we will see what happens when you click the compile button and how the output binary is generated. That is the process behind the compilation. In this video, I will show the output of each steps in compilation process and debug tip to find in which step the compilation is failed. Also, one bonus content is available in this video. So, watch this video till the end. Before going into this video, if you are in this channel for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive the notification. If you end up liking this video, please press the like button. If you have any queries, doubts, suggestions, Please post it in the comment section below. Let's go to the video. There are four steps involved in the compilation process. They are pre-processing, compilation, assembly and linking. Let's see all the process step by step by taking a small hello world C program. For this I have created a small hello world C program. I will compile it with GCC. Let me add hyphen C hyphen temps to the command. And I set the output file as main. Then I compiled it successfully. We will see what are the output files generated. There is a .i file, .o file and .s file and finally output.exe file is generated. Let's go to this compilation steps. First step of the compilation is preprocessing. In this step, all the lines starting with hash will be interpreted. Like hash include hash define macros will be interpreted in this step. Then all the comments will be removed. Finally, a dot i file, a raw C program file will be generated as a output in this step. Let's see the main data I file and how it looks. Here hash include stdio.h and hash include stdlib.h is interpreted. That's why we are seeing many lines here. Then at the end we can see the printf of hello world. We can notice that the comments above the main function is removed. So if you have any macro error in your code, the compilation will fail in this step. To check this, I will add a macro error in the code and compile. Yes, it doesn't compile and it shows a error in macro. If we check the output folder, we can notice only .i file is generated. So compile process is stopped here. Let's move to the second step of compilation. In this step, Preprocessed code .i file is converted into the assembly instruction specific to the target processor architecture. Before this, it checks for the syntax errors. Then, optionally, optimize the code for better performance.
we can check this hello world programs compilation output dot s file if we make any syntax error in then compilation step will not get succeed to check this i will add a bracket in the code and compile Yes, it doesn't compile. If we check the output folder, we can see no object file and executable file. Let's move to the third step, assembly. Here Assembler takes the .s file as input and convert it to a object file .o. Here the .o file consists of actual instructions to be executed, but it will not have any linkage to the other output files. So it is specific for the particular C file or C files in the folder. Object file will not be in the human readable format that we can confirm from the main.o file. Let's go to the final step of compilation process linking. In this step, assembler output object file is taken as an input. All the links for function calls to their original definition is done here. Library function calls instructions are added here. Then it generates the final executable file. It can be .exe.hex.elf.bin. If any linkage error in your project, then this step would not be completed and we can't get the final executable file. So this is how the normal .c file is compiled and final executable file is generated. We will take some output files and decode it. First, we will start with a hex file. This hex file is a simple ASCII text file. Each line in hex file is considered as a hex record. This record is made up of hexadecimal numbers which represents machine language code. This is how a hex record in a hex file will look. It will start with semicolon to indicate a hex record, then record length, address, record type data checksum next binary file it is a pure binary file with no memory relocations data will be loaded 
directly to the specific address. It does not have any symbol or debug info. This file won't be in human readable format. But we can decode it with hex dump. This is one of the decoded binary files. This is the end of the video. If you find this video interesting, hit like, please share it with your friends. Post your suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video.